SEO is an important part to building any website that often feels like it gets neglected. When you're building a site, you want your pages to rank good within Google or other search engines. Now, out of the box, Nux does an okay job with this where without any configuration, most of your URLs will get indexed. However, with the implementation of just a single module, we can get our sites indexed more frequently and accurately. Ready to learn how? Let's get started. All right, what's going on everyone? In this video, I wanna show you how to set up a sitemap.xml file with dynamic URLs within a Nux application using the Nux sitemap module. So to start, let's begin with what a sitemap is. Now, this essentially is like a table of contents that you might see within a book. It's gonna list out all the website's pages, allowing Google to easily crawl a website and index all of the pages very easily. Now, a sitemap is not required for a website, but what it's gonna do is help get your content indexed more frequently and accurately, especially if the website has a lot of dynamic content. All right, so now that we're familiar with what a sitemap is, let's begin to set that up within a Nuxt application. So here inside of VS Code, I have a Nux project open, and this is actually the project that I walk you through how to build within my Nux course called Learn Nuxt. So if you are interested in learning more about Nux and how to create applications using this framework, you can find a link to that course down below in the description. And I should mention the course is still in early access at the time of recording this video. So if you want, you can also join at a discounted rate prior to when the full course is released. Now to set this up, we're going to be using a collection of modules called Nux SEO. And in this collection of modules, there are two modules that we're going to be using called Nux Robots and then Nux Sitemap. Now the Nux Robots module is going to set up a robots.txt file for us, and it's going to ensure that search engines can find the sitemap for our website. Now here inside of the browser, I went ahead and spun up this application. And if we navigate to the URL, if we go to a link called robots, dot txt you're going to see that at the moment right now we don't have one of these by default and then if we do the same thing for the sitemap you'll see that this file does not exist as well by default in our nuxt application so what these two modules are going to do is help set these files up for us now to add these two modules to our application, we have two different ways that we could do this. We can number one, install the entire Nux SEO collection, which is gonna give you six modules, and then you can enable and disable the ones that you want to use. Now, since we're only gonna be using two modules from this collection, we're just going to install these separately. So what we can do is select on Nux robots here, and then select on installation in the left-hand side, and then we can just copy this command and then paste it inside of our terminal to install this module. And once we have that installed, we can head back over to the Nux SEO homepage and we can do the same thing for the sitemap. So we'll select on this package here and then go to installation and then copy this command as well. And then just to confirm you have those installed, you can head over to your Nux config and within your modules array, you should now see those two modules that we just installed. And now here inside of our application, you can now see we have a sitemap. And then if we navigate over to our robots.txt file, you can now see we have one of these as well. Now on the sitemap, you can see right now we have two URLs. We have a home directory and also a about directory. And if we navigate back over to our application, you can see inside of our pages directory, we have those two files of about.view and then index.view. However, what you'll also notice is we have an additional route called recipes, and this recipes route or URL takes in a slug of ID. And if we look back on our sitemap, we're not going to see that here inside of this file. And the reason for that is by default, when this module generates our sitemap, it's not going to include dynamic URLs. Now to add dynamic URLs to your sitemap, you need to generate these URLs yourself through a server route. And here in the documentation, they have a really good example of how we need to do this. So inside of our server route, we need to use what is called the define sitemap event handler. And this is just a simple wrapper for the define event handler, which is what you normally use when you define your server routes. And this is just going to force the correct TypeScript types. So inside of our server route, all we need to do is return in this format all the URLs that we want to have added to our sitemap. So here inside of our project, let's head down to our server folder. And then within here, we have an API folder. And if you don't have one, then you're going to want to create one. And then within this API folder, what we're going to do is create a new folder and we're going to call this sitemap. And within this folder, we're just going to create a new file and we'll call this urls.ts. 
So for the server route, let's start off by importing a few things that we're going to need. So first off, we want to import the defined sitemap event handler. Then we're also going to import this type called recipe response, which I created for the API example that we're going to be using in the server route. And then we also want to import the type for the sitemap URL input. Now with all this imported, we can then export our defined sitemap event handler and this accepts a callback which is going to be asynchronous because we're going to do an API request in here to fetch the data that we need for our URLs. And within this callback, the first thing that we're going to do is make our API request to a site called dummyjson.com and we're going to fetch some recipes and we're going to use this data to construct our URLs that we're then going to add to our sitemap. Now, once we have the data from our API, we want to then use this data to construct our URLs. So what we're going to do is we'll create a new variable and we'll just call this sitemap URLs and then we'll type it to this type we imported called sitemap URL input. And then what we want to set this equal to is our new constructed URLs that we want to have to our sitemap. So what we'll do is we'll set this equal to our response and then on this response, we're going to get back a recipes property. And then what we want to do is map over this and create that new URL structure. So inside of this map method, what we want to do is you want to create a property called LOC or location. Now, in this example, the location or URL that we want to create is going to be called slash recipes. And then on this response from each one of our recipes, we get back a item ID. So we can reference that by saying item dot ID. And if we scroll up here inside of our directory, you can see that we have the path of recipes, which matches right here. And then we have that slug of ID, which we're then referencing from our data that we get back from this API request right here. And then the last thing that we need to do is just simply then return the sitemap URLs. Now, once you have this server route set up, you need to inform the NUX sitemap module that you have this route and to look for it. So what we want to do is navigate down to our NUX config. And then anywhere here inside of your config file, I'll just go beneath the modules. You want to create a property for the sitemap module. And then what we want to do is within here, we want to create a property called sources. And then what the sources a property does is it takes in an array. And then as a string, you can provide it the location of that newly constructed server route that we just went ahead and created. And one mistake that I did make when we created this folder structure is that in front of the sitemap name, this should actually have two underscores and not one. And with our folder structure properly updated and our server route implemented, you can now see we have those dynamic URLs now inside of our sitemap. So when you're using this module, what you also want to ensure is that within your Nux config, you have this site property properly configured with a URL and also a name. And back inside of our Nux config, we can just paste that in here like this. And what you want to ensure is that you replace this URL here with your actual website URL. And then we can give it a name. So in our example, this is going to be called learn Nux like this. So if we save that, you'll now see we have that name we defined within our sitemap right here of learn Nux. And then on the right hand side, we can see that URL that we define called example.com. And what you can do is also preview your sitemap with that URL by clicking on this link right here. And if we preview this link, you can see now we have the example.com and then we have all of our different URLs that exist within our application. All right, so that's going to wrap it up here for this video. Hopefully you now have a good understanding of how to set up a sitemap with dynamic URLs within Nuxt. So thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like on it down below and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.